Mikel Antonio is not that guy to lead Jamaica to the World Cup, to be our leading striker. This is why. But before me tell you why, why not? I see you guys have been liking, I see you guys have been commenting, I see you guys have been sharing, but you guys are not subscribing. Subscribe to Elite Sports to get the latest from Jamaican football behind the scene. Elite Sports TV is the number one Jamaica sports vlogging. So, this is why Mikel Antonio is not that guy to lead us to greatness. Good evening, 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 good night. Whenever you're watching back the video on the replay, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan LFC. Back again, guys, and then a top shelf video for you guys today. As you guys can see in the title and the thumbnail, we're going to talk about Mikel Antonio, the reggae boy's top striker. Mikel Antonio, people, let us start. I know a lot of you guys just click on the video and you guys not listen to understand. I am asking my viewers to listen to understand. That's all I am asking the viewers for. I know a lot of you guys will say, Ryan, your bias, your this, your that, all of them stuff there. I am ready for it. I am ready for it because I know what I'm seeing. I know what I'm looking for, for a striker that's going to lead Jamaica to the 2026 World Cup. I don't think Mikel Antonio is that guy to start for us every single World Cup qualifier. Honestly. I don't think Mikel Antonio, with him age and the way how we want to play, I don't think Mikel Antonio, I think, will create a lot of opportunity. Mikel Antonio, to me, when he plays for Jamaica, he's not a check, right? He's not going to score a lot of goals for Jamaica. I don't think Mikel Antonio is that guy to take us to the promised land. I still think Mikel Antonio can play a very important part for Jamaica qualify for the World Cup. But sometimes Mikel Antonio have to come from the bench. Sometimes Mikel Antonio have to understand his role in the team. Yeah, you play 60 minutes, 65 minutes, we take you off. But last night was a perfect example. He's not going to be a striker that's going to get a lot of opportunity. Because Mikel Antonio don't play on the last defender. Mikel Antonio is not that player to create a lot of opportunity. He's never been and he will never be. Alright? So, that's the first thing we have to talk about. See? When we play against lower opponents, I expect Mikel Antonio to stand up. Top man playing at the Premier League, play for West Ham. But when he come and play against some team that rank 100 hard. I expect Mikel Antonio to use him strength, to use him brain, to use him experience and score some goal for Jamaica. If you look at the record, I have the record right here. Mikel Antonio, last World Cup qualify, he played seven games and he scored three. He played 486 minutes. Goal Cup man, he played five games, score one and he played 359 minutes. Copa America, he played three games, score one, and he played 237 minutes. Nation League, he played two games, and he played 109 minutes. International Friendly against Argentina, he played 88 minutes. He had total 18 appearances to Jamaica and only scored four goals. That's not good enough for a big striker where home city new coach want to play. I don't think Mikel Antonio is going to fit into it. I think we need to get a younger striker, a better striker. I don't think Mikel Antonio is that guy. Should Mikel Antonio be removed from the Jamaican team completely? No. You are, if you said Mikel Antonio should remove out of the Jamaican national team, you are a madman because this player Europa League, Premier League, you have so much experience, you have so much 
to offer to this Jamaican team. But not to play 90 minutes every single time in play for Jamaica. Right? I'm not supposed to play 90 minutes every single time. Right? At least 60 minutes, depending on the game go. Sometimes he's not that guy to lead the line for Jamaica. Sometimes he can come off of the bench with him experience. When player tired, when defender tired, he can come on and come change the game. Mikel Antonio can come on last 15, 20 minutes and still have an impact for the Jamaican national team. But the way of how we want to play, box on the ball, all of them stuff there, Mikel Antonio only. Drop off in the midfield. Drop off in the midfield. Who going to stay on the last defender to score the goal? So, I am asking the fans out there, should we think about to get a new striker and Mikel Antonio play a part-time role? When you need him, we we'll play him in a certain game. When he will start, we we'll play him in a certain game. I will pull him 65 minutes, 60 minutes is good enough because we still are going to need him experience. He's still somebody who can play a big part for the Jamaican national team. What do you guys think down in the comment section? Let me know what do you guys think about Mikel Antonio. I really want to hear what the viewers have to say. Take no biases out of it. Look at him age, look at what he produced for Jamaica. Tell me, tell me what you guys think down in the comment section. I know a lot of you guys will say, I am a Mikel Antonio eater, but I am not. I want the best for Jamaica, all right? I think the Jamaican team needs changing. I don't think Mikel Antonio and Boza should be our number one striker going forward. Do we all want to play? We should get a younger striker who is hungry, and more better clutch clinical all around the twin game i think Mikel antonio and boza they are too similar they are not the greatest when the ball come at them feet and all of them stuff there you understand so let me know what you think viewers and subscribers take no bias this out of it we need to have this conversation and people not just only the striking position we need to strengthen you know. Yeah, people, we need about two more winger virgin. We need another left winger and we need another right winger who are going to challenge Leon Bailey, challenge Whisper, challenge Demar Gray. This team needs strength. The team needs strength. Based on how we see the coach I want to play, I think the team needs more strength. What you guys think down in the comment section? Take on the ego out of it, take on the biasness and all of them things out there. Let me know what do you guys think down in the comment section. People, if you reach that far, why not? You've been watching, but you guys not liking, you guys not subscribing, you guys not sharing, you guys not commenting. You guys just watch and just watch. Let's take part in the comment section. Let me know what do you guys think about Mikel Antonio role in the Jamaican National. Is Ryan LFC overthinking it? Let me know. It is important. Let us have the communication. I will be replying to all of you guys. Comment down in the comment section. Until next time, from the boy Ryan LFC, I'd like to say peace out. Thanks for watching.